Hello everyone and welcome to another video. I am Simply G and today I'm going to be giving my first impressions of Volume 1 of Karu Surutani's BL Metamorphosis from Seven Seas. So this series is an ongoing shonen slice of life, currently being published in Comic New Type with four volumes in Japanese, recently debuted in English from Seven Seas, as I said, and follows the unlikely friendship between a 75-year-old woman called Ichinoi and a 15-year-old teenage girl called Urara, who become friends over their mutual interest in BL or boys love comics. So this is a series that I had very high hopes for. It was one that I was highly anticipating. I'd heard a lot of very positive buzz around it. It's won a couple awards in Japan and it didn't disappoint. It was very fun, very sweet. I really, really liked the interaction between these two characters. And I really loved the aspect within the story of hobbies bringing people together that otherwise wouldn't normally interact. It's something that I feel that a lot of people come across, especially within manga and anime fandoms. There's, there's a lot of us around and some people who are fans may be more surprising um, to other fans than others. So outside of even just the basic introduction of this premise. Um, for those who aren't familiar with the series, it mainly focuses on Ichinoi, who is 75 years old. She's widowed. She's obviously retired from her work. She does still hold um, like classes of some variety. I can't remember if it's calligraphy or it's an art type of class um, for other older people. So she doesn't really interact with young people. Her her own children are obviously grown and have their own family. Her husband died at least a year before, so she's now on her own trying to find things in her life for her to do because when you are older, your life changes a lot and you have to keep adapting to the situation. You're never going to be in the same situation with the same people throughout the entirety of your life. That's not how things work. So one day uh, Ichinoi is on the way to the hospital I believe um, and she has to wait for some tests to be finished to get the results for her. So she, she leaves and kind of wanders around a bookstore in the area and comes across um, some manga which she kind of has a very funny reminiscence of she hasn't read manga in a very long time and she's drawn to the cover art of a particular book. So she buys it, doesn't really know anything about it, and then by the time she gets home and reads it, she realizes that it's a BL story. It's a it's a romance but that features a romantic relationship between two boys, um, which <laughs> kind of surprises her but doesn't like shock or disgust her and then she becomes very invested in the relationship between these two characters and so uh, the next time that she's out she goes back to that same bookstore and is in search of another another BL um, whether it's the second volume of the series that she picked up she she just wants to know what happens to these characters in so doing, she comes across one of the workers at this store, so one, someone who's working at this bookstore, and she recognizes that this old woman is buying BL, and is it's a BL that she herself has read. So outside of her surprise at <laughs> an older woman reading BL, she kind of wants to befriend her so she will have someone to talk about BL with because in her normal life she doesn't have any real life friends that she can talk BL with because even though it is a generally a hobby that is popular with younger people it's still somewhat stigmatized to be a proud Fujoshi or BL fan both in Japan and like in the western world it's something that a lot of people make fun of fans for and so she's she hasn't been able to openly talk about all of these stories and characters and writers that she enjoys so kind of through um, happenstance she decides to befriend this 
this older woman um, by by giving her some more works from the same author that she's obviously previously enjoyed and wanting to discuss the characters and the story and things like that. As I mentioned, these two have a really fun dynamic, a really nice relationship, a friendship that of course crosses these age Di like age differences and barriers and obviously generational differences in and the the strength the power quote unquote of this this particular manga and this genre as a whole in bringing these two very different people together and giving them friends and giving them a a community or a hobby um that they can enjoy and take part in that they didn't have in their everyday life. I also really like the aspect of not being too old for a hobby because it's something that you see even now on social media. I think fandom is seen as a young person's thing. A lot of young members of fandom kind of find it weird when older people are involved, <laughs> not realizing that you know, it's these usually women have been around since the the things that they enjoy were starting, or you know, they invented fandom. You can't discredit or disregard the older members of fandom. Um, and just because you've reached a certain age, it doesn't mean you stop enjoying things. You stop um, wanting to think about or talk about or create something related to your favorite show or music or film or whatever it may be. It's really nice to see that captured in this series <laughs> and it never it never treats Ichinoi's interest in BL or this particular mangaka as weird. If you're a fan of friendship, of stories that focus on the power of art or the power of hobbies and bringing people together. I highly recommend this one. It's funny. It's sweet. It's definitely one that I'm looking forward to more volumes for. And I really think that a lot of people will enjoy this if giving, given it the chance, especially if you are also a fan of BL or you somewhat understand this whole situation, kind of the larger stigma of perhaps being a BL fan or perhaps being an older fan and and people who are younger than you or even your own age thinking you is like not appropriate to be in that community. I think it handles those really, really well. I really like the two main characters. I think their friendship is very well balanced um, and they give each other new perspectives and an interesting support system <laughs> to each other. They complement each other in various ways. I really liked this book. It was one that I was looking forward to and as I said it didn't disappoint. I do think that you should try this if it this has sounded interesting to you and I can't wait for volume two. So those were my first impressions of this first volume. Uh, let me know if you've read this one or if you're wanting to read it or you hadn't even heard of this series. I love reading your comments. As always, m the link to my Twitter will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so, so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye till then.